Okay, it just seems like a lot of you guys have just forgotten about MH370. A plane that literally went missing in the 21st century. It was not any plane. It's a modern day jet airplane, which is so sophisticated, but somehow disappeared. And all the people on board are still considered missing guys. They are literally missing. And this article surfaced a couple of days ago that stated that the plane took off and apparently left behind false trails before disappearing. So whoever took control of that plane deliberately knew what they were doing and knew that they would pull off one of the most mysterious hiatus of plane disappearance on this planet. And you know what? No one's talking about it. I wonder why. Let me tell you why from a survivalist standpoint. I'll always encourage you to look up the local folklore of national parks because they usually have some pretty cool stories. But most of the time, the reason people go missing in national forests is because they were ill-equipped. It's real easy for the elements to take and overcome you. As a survivalist, one of the first things that my dad taught us as kids is that the elements are more likely to kill you than anything else. Animals, starvation, drowning, any of it. And the reason they tend to disappear into thin air is because animals eat you or you get taken downstream by the river. It's real easy for humans to die out there, especially when they go into it with the mindset that nothing can hurt them. Always be equipped, always be prepared, never go alone. Let me tell you why from a survivalist standpoint. I'll always encourage you to look up the local folklore of national parks because they usually have some pretty cool stories. But most of the time, the reason people go missing in national forests is because they were ill-equipped. It's real easy for the elements to take and overcome you. As a survivalist, one of the first things that my dad taught us as kids is that the elements are more likely to kill you than anything else. Animals, starvation, drowning, any of it. And the reason they tend to disappear into thin air is because animals eat you or you get taken downstream by the river. It's real easy for humans to die out there, especially when they go into it with the mindset that nothing can hurt them. Always be equipped, always be prepared, never go alone. Yo, let me put y'all on really quick because this shit is fucking crazy. So if you don't want to read a bunch of articles, but you want to know what she's talking about, I'm going to put you on some film. Also, you don't have to be a conspiracy theorist to find this stuff interesting. Um, it's based on real life stories, real life investigating. Um, but if you are a conspiracy theorist, you're going to love this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to YouTube. You're going to type in Missing 411. There's two free movies. This one is about hunters who go missing. This one. It's about children who go missing. Go watch it. Okay guys, listen up. I have a theory about this. Forests are hot spots for portals to different dimensions. If you haven't seen this girl's video already, I'm going to tag her below. Go check it out. Basically, she talks about how she went to a U.S. national forest and saw footprints that were not human-like. So the reason I believe that people are going missing is because they are walking through portals unknowingly. What dimension are they going to? I have no idea. Do you guys remember my video about the different dimensions? In that video, I talked about how in other dimensions there are creatures like Bigfoot, mermaids, fairies. And a lot of times, they come in and out of their dimensions. Which is why we have sightings of these creatures, but we can never prove their existence. Another place I think is a portal, Bermuda Triangle. Let me know what you guys think below. The woods take up a lot of the U.S. and it's very easy to D.I.E. in those woods. For one, um, you know, I was saying if a tree falls in the forest and there's no one around to hear it, like, did did it make a sound or something like that? It's kind of how it is. There's way too many trees. There's way too many things that block out sound. You can't really hear anything. So it's easy to actually die. And when a body's disposed of, um, the elements is what they call it. The elements take over erosion, water, dirt, animals, bugs. Um, so 
It's easy to dispose of and get rid of someone in the woods. Kind of scary. Which is why I don't go camping. I've seen a lot of these conspiracy videos of people going missing in our national parks showing up on my for you page and i work as a ranger in glacier national park i've worked on searches for missing people and so i wanted to talk a little bit about that because i've seen a lot of people that are saying they're afraid or won't go to our national parks because they're afraid of something that might be out there we don't know about or the government's hiding something from them so let's talk about that why can't we find people well, it's typically because we have a massive area, glaciers over a million acres, roughly the size of Rhode Island, and we don't know where that person was planning to go for the day. So trying to search a wilderness area the size of Rhode Island is pretty difficult to find someone if we can't pinpoint where they were. So a way to increase your chances of being found if you're recreating in a park and something goes wrong is to leave a plan with someone who's not going in the park with you so if you don't show back up by a preset time, they can notify park authorities and we know where you were and know where to begin the search. So I thought that was really interesting and I wanted to talk about it. So the first theory states is that they're getting trafficked. So here's the map of the most common places where people vanish without a trace. And then right below it is a map of the cave systems. Now a lot of these cave systems are located in these national parks. So it doesn't seem like a coincidence that they all connect. Then there's a theory about the stairs in the woods. So these set of stairs just end up in multiple national parks around the world and no one knows why they're there or where they came from. Overnight, they just pop up. But all we know about these stairs is that the people who climb them have just disappeared. But one of the more believable theories is that there's a bunch of these like cannibal communities in these national parks. And when these people are walking alone or going on a hike alone, they kidnap them and then, well, they eat them. But finally, I think the creepiest one was posted by a TikToker named Better10. She said she saw these people run across the road. They had these bleached white pale skin, had red eyes. They made eye contact with her and then she's never seen them again. Okay, so this is actually really interesting. A lot of people say it's about cannibals and it 100% can be and probably is in some cases. But a lot of people have reported seeing humanoid figures without any like face features, no mouth, no eyes, but they can still kind of draw people further into the woods. A lot of people are found way further away than they should be able to be in the amount of time that they're gone. And like kids have been found up huge trees that they should not have been able to climb. There was even one case where a person was found with all of their organs on the outside without any sort of harm to the body. There were no stab wounds or anything. Obviously organs on the outside of your body isn't great, but so I wanna know what you think about that. I also wanna remind you of my giveaway again, and you just tag two friends in the comments down below to win my seven day program. This is Jared Negrete. He was 12 years old when he went missing on July 19th of 1991 when he went camping with his Boy Scouts troop. They were supposed to stay the night at Camp Taquitz, which is in the San Bernardino National Forest. Jared was a little bit husky, and he had fallen behind from his troop while hiking up the mountain. His leader told him to stay behind and that they would catch up with him on the way back down. He was never seen again. The search for Jared went on for 19 days, with no results. The only thing they found was his backpack, some candy wrappers, his footprint, and his camera, which had 12 photos on it, mostly of the landscape, but the last picture was of his eyes and nose after he had disappeared. This was the last image found on Jared's camera, and it was taken after he had disappeared at night. Thank mm -hmm. you.